Hello guys, Nigel here with you, Nigel's Modeling Bench, and I've got another review for you today. And this is a brand new product, or fairly new product, from a company called Red Fox Studio, uh, based over in Hungary. Um, first heard of these on Doug's Models, and he was using their set for the P38 from Trumpeter in 170 and 132nd scale. Um, so I thought I'd have a look at their site, and I'll put up a few screenshots for you now from their website absolutely amazing range of these kind of 3d decals for your um for your cockpits and they do 48th 32nd 24th scale massive range as i say a few screenshots there and really they're 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 just growing very very fast apparently so I got in touch with them and said, look, you know, I've got all these extras for this B1B. Um, I'd be interested in one of your cockpit sets for that. So they said, yeah, OK, we'll send you all four. So great. Thank you very much. So there's an early and a late. Um, and um, and then there's also the lit up and the black type, which I'll which I'll show you in a minute. So when it comes to your B1B model, you've got a few different choices. You can paint the cockpit, as I show you here. You can use the kit decals. If you've got a later model, then you've got the decals in there. The earlier kits didn't have them. So you've got your um, instrument panels there in decal form, which as you can see are pretty sort of lackluster and not very colourful at all. So you've got those. And then, um, of course, you've got the old Eddard PE set, which is still available. Um, and this is the old fashioned Edward where they used to do the... Uh, this is uh, 48325. And this is where they used to do the... Um, the photo etched instrument panel and then you paint the back of this white or whatever and you had the acetate there and then you had the paper to go in behind so you've got paper behind acetate behind um, photo etch and then you've just stuck that onto your plastic instrument panel but again it's fairly sort of it's nicer than the original plastic parts in most cases but it's still sort of lackluster and fairly flat and then um, they came out with this set, which is the pre-coloured set, which we're all familiar with. So this is the Eddard pre-coloured set. And as you can see, again, it's, it's, it's bright and colourful with lots of switch detail, but it's fairly flat, fairly lacklustre um, and all sort of monotone. The other problem here is with Eddard is they don't ever seem to match the colours. Now, the actual colour is the Hobby 317 which is 36231, yeah, 36, how sad is that that I remember that? And if you look here, you can see the color doesn't match at all. Okay, so that's one of the biggest issues I always find with Edward. Um, so, you know, it's fairly flat, fairly featureless. And also this set is uh, discontinued now, so hard to come by. But uh, this is the one that comes with the, um, with the B1B bomber kit. So you buy, the actual kit and this is the photo etch set that comes with it for the uh, premium edition one and you can see you've got different bits of photo etch there so that's another one I've got in my stash so that's basically your options um, and then you can go one step further and get this so the basic idea here is uh, whatever I've got in this envelope I'm going to choose one or maybe two for myself and then I think the rest I'll do a giveaway so um, that only not, not only gives them some coverage but it also spreads the love and shares the shares the goodness of their hearts so um let's have a look at the envelope and we'll be amazed at what we see the other thing that was quite amazing is uh, i think i've mentioned this before my favorite company for delivery across the road is ups as, as i think i've mentioned loads of times this was sent um on thursday the 8th of january and it is now fr january april it is now friday the 9th of april and uh, yes, today is the day that um, uh, poor old Philip passed away. So um, all respect to him. So we've got some stickers here. So I'll be able to give some stickers away as well. So we can add a sticker to my um, modelling bench now. So we can see that on the uh, on the camera. It's not do it right away, but we'll put one. We'll put one there so you can see that in there. So in here we have four sets of instrument panels. For, well, it's not instrument panels, it's instrument panels and side consoles for the Ravel Monogram 148th B1 because, let's face it, I don't have enough aftermarket for that kit. 
Um, the box, I've got the box under the bed and it's absolutely full of aftermarket. So I've got Edward, I've got, um, oh, what's that company? I can't think of the name of now. Not Skunk, something like that, uh, who did the radar and stuff. I've got J Jared's beautiful stuff, the 3D printed and the resin parts. Um, I've got uh, scale aircraft conversions undercarriage. I've got my own resin bits, all sorts of bits and pieces. And now I've got this beautiful um, Red Fox stuff to add to it too. So this is the B1 early, uh, B1B Lancer early. Um, and this is part number 48009. Okay. And then this is the early black edition. And I am so pleased they've done this because one of the things that really annoys me with the Eddard stuff and everything is they generally do the displays. Now, you don't see aircraft parked up with, um, you know, uh, removed before flight tags and everything with a fired up instrument panel generally and no one sat in it. So they're sort of really not correct when they do that. But they've given you the option so you can have it here. You can have the early one with it all um, fired up. Or you can have the early black edition. And no, it's not a Mercedes. It actually means everything's shut down which is a really nice touch. So we'll interesting to see how they look. And then we've got the B1B Lancer Late here and the B1B Lancer Late Black Edition. So these are 48125 and 48126, 48124 and 48009. Now these are all on their website and I'm looking at it now and they are €29.90 each. So they're not the cheapest aftermarket in the world. But from what I can get, oh my God, <laughs> I've just seen one for the first time. But from what I can gather from the photographs I've seen, you know, if you compare this to a, a Zoom set from, an Ed, from, Ed, from Edward for your cockpit, you know, this is a bit more money, but I, I really do think it's going to make it pop. And I know that some of you are going to comment below, well, you can't see it in that aircraft anyway. Yes, I know. But if you build this aircraft with the escape hatches open, and the access ladder down you can look down through and you can see a lot especially in the rear section of the cockpit um, and it's really really worth seeing now what I wish they would do what would be really nice is if they did this for the 48 scale B52 from HPH that would be really really nice and I'd love a review sample please so that would be good to see uh, but this I think is just amazing now, as far as late and early goes, I've talked about the Black Edition and the Ordinary. Um, as far as late and early goes, I don't know. I'm looking at my book, this here, which is, again, I think I've talked about this before. This is my Daco Publications, my Bible for this aircraft. Um, if, if it's got Daco Publications and Willie Peters on it, it's worth having. Um, but this book is dated 2006. Um, as we can see in here, there we go, 2006 Daco Publications. And when we go to the cockpit, we can see that this one, this aircraft featured in this book. Where's the cockpit gone? I had it just now. Here we go. Um, the cockpit in here is early. So obviously things were upgraded at some point after 2006. I don't know when. I do have another book. I can't find it. So we shall see. So let's have a look at the um, let's have a look at the early. So we'll have a look at one of them. We've got the black edition here, and we've got the early normal edition. So we'll look at the normal edition first, and we can see here we've got a lovely cardboard envelope stapled up, all nicely sealed, and you can feel that it's got some texture to it. So when this is packaged, you know, make make sure if you're going to buy this from a a third party seller make sure you're buying it from somebody who's renowned for their good packaging because if that is just shoved into a, an envelope it's likely to get damaged because it's um it's not flat and you can see here when we look through the bag we can see what kind of thing we're talking about here the detail and remember this is the one that's going to be shown lit up so let's um because i'm probably going to be giving this one away I'm going to open it carefully. I'm going to use an old pair of Tamiya cutters and I'm going to bend this staple back and I'm going to try, after we've done the review, I'm going to try and close it back up <clears throat> as nicely as I can. Right, so what have we got in here? No doubt we've got instructions. We've got the actual instrument panel itself. 
okay everything is beautifully printed in color on card beautifully cut out very very professional much more professional than anything I do I can assure you um, so let's first of all have a look at these instructions so everything they do is called quick quick set 3d so that is their name for their instrument panels as I say go take a look at their website they've got a massive range so this is just a display here showing it which all the parts are and that display there coincides with that there okay and it looks like the colors are good as well which is one of the big failings with the Edward sets is the colors never seem to perfectly match and also when you look at them close up they've always got that grainy look to them um, almost like newspaper print you know what I mean so here we go so we've got the, the obviously the front front sheet here and then we're going down here and it's telling us what we need to do to remove the details so we've got the kit parts here remove remove the details from the kit parts just as you would with anything else and you're just going to remove the the, the uh, raised detail and make the panel flat so it says parts can be glued with PVA or cyanacrylate super glue the upgrade parts can also be washed with enamel or acrylic paint. Usable varnish types, ester, white spirit, nitro, lacquer and acrylic base. Bloody hell. You can use lacquer on it. Durable UV resistant surface. Maximal bendability tolerance is 5 degrees. So obviously it's quite brittle. Um, which can be a good thing because if it's brittle it will snap and glue back together easily rather than stretching before it breaks. So they're telling you here just to add these panels to your cockpit just like you would normally and that's it you know with, with any aftermarket set so this is 36231 this is H317 and we'll see what the match is like because to me it looks very good so let's get this out of here so let's get this out of here come on okay so after much gentle wrestling I managed to break a couple of pieces off of the backing I haven't damaged the parts at all they just come away from the backing so I've got a little dab of micro crystal clear on the back and just glued them back onto the back in there it was this one and this one so whoever wins this or gets this or whatever that's why you'll find that they're different than the others so um basically what we've got here is a absolutely stunning little set and we can see that the um, the VDU faces are all um, glossed. All of the switch gear is all raised and textured and everything. And also the reason for taking out was the colour match is beautiful. Look at that. Now we often see with Edward, as I say, we often... I shouldn't keep saying Edward. We, with other manufacturers we see the colour match isn't great. But this is, um, this is very good indeed. So... Let's have a close-up look at it and give you a little walk around. You can see on there, when you look at it in the flat, it just looks like it could be a decal. But as soon as I turn it onto an angle, it's very, very difficult to grab this. But you can see that it's all 3D textured. And once that's down and had a wash, or even just put on as it is, it's going to look absolutely stunning. Now you may wish to use a matte varnish on there. Um, you'll have to mask the the VDU um, screens. But looking at if you can use bloody lacquer on it, you have no problem masking it whatsoever. But um, absolutely stunning. Really, really nice. I'm trying to. Okay, so struggling with here to try to show you just how good this is. But um, what I found is a dim light helps. So there we go. Now you can see when you look across it, you can see all the detail and how realistic that is. And it's so much better than just a flat plastic painted panel or a flat photo etch panel, whatever. Look at it. You can see all the, the switch gear and everything on there. It's, um, it's simply stunning. Look at the consoles on the sides. Whoops. Again, they've got the, there's your center panel there. So yeah, you can see, once again, all that detail on there, all raised and beautiful. Which is all going to pop once you put a watch on it. A watch, a wash. So what I need to do is build one of these into a cockpit. I've got a cockpit with all the details sanded off. So I could probably do that for you in the near future. But um, yeah, absolutely stunning. Um, 
very impressed indeed. So we'll put this to one side. And let's just have a look now at the early blacked out. So this is the early blacked out edition. So again, I'm going to get these, this staple out of here. I don't know which one I'm going to use yet. I don't know what the difference is because uh, I need to do some research because probably somebody will tell you you can't have the early if you've got the um, lightning pod on there or sniper pod, whatever. Um, and vice versa. So you can easily get it wrong, you know, mess it up. A bit easier. Okay, so there we go. We got that one there. And as you can see, it's the same sort of thing. It's just with all the screens blacked out. So again, see if I hold that sort of angle you can see all the detail on the raised detail you need to be here and be able to touch it to feel it really but it's uh it's it, it's the best i've ever seen it's uh it's getting crazy with all this aftermarket stuff you know we years ago we, we used to strive to get the best looking instrument panels by using you know paper backing and acetate panels and little bits of wire for switches and stuff and now you can get a much better much better looking cockpit just by spending a bit of money so um you know this is what the aftermarket's doing but um yeah absolutely incredible i'd be interested to know how it's made um it's 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 crazy absolutely crazy so there we go guys that's that again with this one here it's going to be the same sort of thing you've got the instructions showing you how to use it telling you about using pva and lacquer paints and blah 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 so uh, there we go so get on over to red fox studios and have a look at the website whatever model aircraft you're building they've probably got something for you um i did ask them if they have anything for the um sukhoi su or su 33 and apparently it is on their radar so Look out for that one. That's going to be um, something really worth seeing. So if you're building these jet fires with the cockpit open, um, especially you know with big canopies, and you know the, so you can really really see in having stuff like this is going to really really make your model pop. Particularly 30 second scale and 24 scale blimey, it's going to look amazing. So yeah, get on over to Red Fox Studios, have a look, and um, they ship to England. And as I say, this came in 24 hours. So really really happy, fantastic service. Uh, really really pleased great bunch of guys and um yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you all soon and once i've decided which ones i don't want to use or maybe jarrell will get in touch and maybe he wants one then um then we'll give one away all right so thanks very much guys bye for now